Today, inshallah, we will make uh, this demo for uh, this uh, vertical bezel with uh, support legs, and you can figure that it's not patented. And we will learn how to make the top davit and the cover flange with this type of lifting lug, with the uh, nozzle with uh, bottom elbow and the top head. Now let's create a new project and define the project name. After that, we will select the location of the project. Select the path. After that, select the module, which is vertical pressure vessel. After that, we will name our equipment EV500. Define the service of this equipment as a receiver. Define the serial number of this equipment and click Save. After that, we will open the app setting, and from the app setting, we will select parent preview and the child preview and modify the size of the nozzle to be in there. Now, let's add a, a bottom head. From here, select the type as a solidal head, define the inside diameter, thickness, straight flange, and the minimum thickness after forming. And from here, we will search for our material from the ASME database material, make this head as a flat head, and click assembly. Now, let's add can one. After that, select the type of the can as a shell. Define the inside diameter, thickness, longitudinal building line, orientation length, and the material. So let's search for our material, select it, and click done. Now let's add a, a body flange as a design. The flange. Select the first type, which is uh, integral build neck flange with the resin face. Define the dimensions of the flange. After that, we will open the SME material database to select the suitable material. From here, select the suitable grade, which is F316L, and click Save, make it flip. Let's add a gap. Select the, uh, define the inside diameter, thickness, and width. Define the material of the gasket. After that, we will click on Save. Last main element, which is a cover flange, select blind flange, select the revised face type, define the dimensions of the flange, flange outside diameter, flange thickness, bolt circle diameter and bolt diameter, bolt hole diameter, number of bolts, revised face thickness, and the material of the blind flange. Select it and click done. Now let's Create the assembly of uh, the main assembly of the vessel. After that, we will add the child's part by part. From here, let's select the shell and add the first leg, which is leg one. From here, let's select UPN, select the suitable size, define the dimension A, which is the length of the channel, find the location, material. And from here, let's add a base plate. Define the length width of the base plate. Define the whole locations material of the base plate. After that, we will add the wheel plate. Define the length, width, thickness, and the fillet. Define the material and leg offset. From here, let's add a top cover. Click Save. Now let's assemble this leg. Here you can figure that item by item will assemble automatically for the support leg. Now let's add two more legs and let's make it same as leg one. The third leg, make it same as leg one. Only we will change the orientation because they are not equal pattern. So we will define the uh, orientation of each leg separately. Now the second leg is simply the third leg is simply now we have the support legs. Now let's add the bottom nozzle or the bottom head. Let's add N2, define the size 16 inches, schedule, define the offset, add a wheel plate. 50 millimeters and 6 millimeters thickness. Material, define the material of the pipe. Make a search and select the suitable material. 
define the surface of the nozzle and click say now let's add an elbow to this nozzle select it as a 90 degree short radius select the size the schedule and the orientation define the material of this elbow and click say now let's add and define the projection so from here let's define the projection of the elbow and click save the value of the projection of the pipe will appear here now let's add a flange in the two flange after the elbow select the suitable type which is will the necklace face according to SMAP 16.5 define the rating size schedule and material now let's assemble the pipe after that, the uh, uh, reinforced band of this nozzle. Here's the uh, elbow, which is 90 degree short radius, and the flange. Now we have the assembly. Let's add another nozzle, but this nozzle was with internal projection. Let's add N4, select the size, schedule, and the offset from visit center line, define the orientation, define the material of the pipe, select the grade, Okay, define the nozzle surface as a drain. Select uh, the external connection and add a flange to the external connection of the nozzle. Select the type, size, schedule. Select the material of the flange. Click done. Now let's add. Define the projection of the nozzle from the seam line of the head. Here's the pipe projection calculated automatically. Now let's add a gasket. So we will need to add a blind flange to this nozzle, so we will add gasket. After that, we will add a blind flange. Select the type, ASME P16.5, define the size, schedule, and material. And let's add stud bolt for this nozzle, for this blind flange. So from here, let's select UNC, select the size, define the total length of the stud, the uh, spacing of the between knots. Now, the assembly of this nozzle shall be created. It's a nozzle pipe. After that, the external connected flange, the gasket, blind flange. After that, the stud bolt of the cover. Now let's add a nozzle on uh, the shell after creating this nozzle. That's a section. Here we have an internal projection for this nozzle. So let's remove this section and come back to the SEG and add a nozzle to the shell in one. We find the size to be 16 inches, schedule 40S. Find the location, the orientation, select the material of the pipe. Here select the suitable grade and let's add a wheel plate to define the width, thickness and the material. And define the surface of the nozzle as inlet nozzle, save and let's add a flange. So in one flange, select the type, rating, schedule, size, find the material, select the grade, click save. Now let's add a stud bolt for the cover, top cover flange, which is connected between the body flange and the cover flange. Select the size as one inch, define the length and the not spacing. Now click simply to start creating the N1 nozzle, the flange of nozzle N1. After that, the uh, stud bolt for the cover flange. Now, uh, here we can figure that the size of the nozzle is not correct. I think we defined it in a wrong way, so we will increase it to 16 and click simply. Now it's updated. It's okay right now. Okay, here from uh, select the cover and add another nozzle, which is N3. Define the size, schedule, orientation, offset from the center line, define the material. Define the service as a vent nozzle. Let's add a flange to this nozzle. Select the size, 
of the woven and the material. Click Save. Now let's define the projection. Click Save and Close. Now let's add another blind flange. Another nozzle on the blind flange. Let's add in 5. Let's make it look like in 3. And from here let's add a flange. And from here we will make the rating 300 instead of 150. Define the material after defining the size and schedule. Now let's define the projection. Calculate and save. Now let's add a blind to N3. So let's add a gasket first. And and blind. N3 blind. And we will make it looks like N4 blind to avoid repeating entering that again. And from select N3 and add the start bolt to N3. And from here we will select it looks like N4 start bolt because they are the same size. Select the cover flange and let's add the final nozzle which is N6. Find the size as 1 inch, schedule 160, offset from the distance line, define the material. Okay, define the service as BSV connection. Click save. Now let's add a flange as N6 flange. Select the flange rating, size, and schedule. Define the material of this flange. Select the grid. Click done and save. Now let's define the projection. Click calculate and click save. Now let's run the assembly to start creating three nozzles on the top cover. the last nozzle which is in six now we have the top cover nozzles now let's add a lifting lug as a bare lifting lug so select this type and define the dimensions of the lifting lug define the material and select checkbox of bare lugs and define the spacing and from here select simply click on a simply button to start creating the this type of lifting lug. Now let's add the top david. This uh, type uh, we added uh, as bear our customers uh, requirement. And I think uh, this type will cover uh, a lot of your uh, requirements. Here we will define the top david dimensions. Define the material. Those are the dimensions of the washer bearing the uh, pipe size, the main pipe size, main pipe schedule. The uh, dimensions according to the image on the right hand side so you can check the uh, parameter uh, names with the image on the right hand side. Now let's add a wheel plate to the uh, bottom bracket. Define the material. Okay, let's add a bottom plate. Oh, remove it and define the thickness as zero. From here, let's add the top cover. Cover thickness and the uh, mid washer dimensions. The lifting lug dimensions. The top bracket dimensions. So the top bracket not include a wheel plate or ribs, so we will not activate them. And click save now after clicking on a simply. The top David will be assembled automatically. And you can figure that how much time you will save uh, in case of using the traditional way by creating the 
3D model of those items manually. So SEG software will cover all of this and take care about it and save a lot of time for you and you can translate the time to money. Here are those items shall be assembled automatically. Here we have the top bracket and the 3D model here for this equipment. So let's take a section here and you can figure that we have this connection for the David and a top here. Now let's uh, add the final part uh, from SCG, which is the earthing lock. So let's select the shell and from here select earthing bows and select it from here, define the earthing bows dimensions. And you can uh, add a bolt, a washer, flat washer or a spring washer. So let's select a spring washer, define the dimensions of the spring washer and the click start the assembly. Now the earthing bowls will be assembled. Now we will uh, we add this earthing bowls on the shelf so we will remove the constraint and assemble it on the support link. So we will move it and make some constraints manually. So let's add it on this surface. Define the offset from this edge as 50 millimeters. So we will make it always a negative value. Let's make it 30. It's okay now. So let's make an offset from the facing of the base blade. So let's select the mid plane, define this value. Okay, so, okay. Now we have the final assembly of the equipment. Thank you for your time.